What's up YouTube, Jack Sutcliffe here and welcome back to JS Fitness. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are doing a review of ProSubs Hydro BCAA. Now I've wanted to do a review of this for a long time just because ProSubs Mr. Hyde is such a great pre-workout or it was when I did that review all them years ago. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to give this a try, more so for flavor um, rather than necessarily any kind of performance gains because as you all know or should be knowing by now, BCAA supplements probably aren't worth that much just in terms of their benefits. If anything, you want an EAA uh, supplement, which surprisingly, um, this has seven grams of BCAAs and three grams of EAA, EAAs. So, so yeah, that was quite a surprise for me. I did not realize that um, all them months ago when I wanted to try it, if not further. So anyway, let's get down into it real quick. I'm gonna blow up the ingredients label on the back because me holding it here, I cannot really read. So yeah, and as always everyone, we've got the sex on the beach flavor. So let's see if that tastes any good because certainly there's no sex happening on this beach right now because it's about minus 15 outside here in Canada. So we've got zero grams of carbs, zero sugars, which is great. This is just gonna be loaded with um, natural flavors, which it says on the back and a lot of sucrose, which are diff basically different forms of sugars and artificial sweeteners, a little bit of citric acid and beetroot in there um, for colorings and textures. But that's about it in terms of the ingredients. And then again, you've got that 2-1-1 uh, BCAA uh, blend ratio, which is great to see, especially from such a tiny little packet. And then again, that EAA is three grams. And again, it just tells you on there uh, which EAAs it has in it. And that is pretty much it. It does say on the back that it's not made from like wheat, which is kind of this one in the bottom left corner slash gluten. And then you got this other little uh, indicator there. So for you people which have them dietary requirements, and um, this might just be okay for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it in my uh, hydro cup shaker for my, I know it's kind of pre and post, yeah pre here, post here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of put it in here, shake it up and uh, let you guys know how it tastes. So as always, when I rip this open, I'll let you know how it smells. Cause I think that's typically a good indicator. Um, so to start off with, it's pretty much like a clear white with a hint of orange. Don't know if you can see there. So, hmm. Smells okay, not great. Definitely got the like them orange hints, some citric hints coming through. In terms of when we pour this bad boy in, just wanna show you kind of how it goes. Again, this does come in a whole range of flavors. This was just like a free sample that I got. So if I had a choice, I would have definitely have picked um, a different flavor just to uh, match up with my taste buds uh, better. So in terms of, let's shake this up. In terms of taste, mixability, this should taste quite citrusy. I'm, for me, I'm guessing it's gonna taste mainly like orange. See what else comes through. And then in terms of the mixture, the texture, this should just taste like water. There shouldn't be any surprises in this. So here we go. Yep, 101, uh, straight up, just orange hits you in the face, um, just that citric flavor does. It's quite refreshing, which is quite nice. Texture's really good. You've got this little bit of foaming on top, um, which is probably just to do with some of them texturizers in there. But otherwise, um, the only, probably a good way to describe this orange flavor would be um, if you've ever had like a orange frozen ice pop thing that you can get for like 10, 20 cents a pop and you typically buy a big box of them, that is what this tastes like. So yeah, if you buy it knowing it's gonna taste like orange, you are not gonna be disappointed. In terms of costs, you should be able to get uh, a 30 serving tub for around 30 to $35. The effects it's meant to help with recovery, but like I said, as we all know now, uh, 
BCAAs don't so much help with recovery. If anything, if you're fasting or trying to lose weight, it spikes your insulin. So you want them EAAs, which is great to see that this has. So it may be more beneficial, more effective at recoveries than just standalone BCAA supplements. But as always, everyone, this review is just to help inform you guys whether it's worth buying or not. If you have any questions, hit them down below. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help it to grow. Have a good one.